as a service and, and ITS um, training. Uh, so this is uh, part of the global e-learning program on the electric mobility of the Solutions Plus uh, project. For those of you who are new, this is your first time uh, joining um, these uh, e-courses, uh, we'll be giving a little bit more of an introduction on the program and Solutions Plus in a, mid, in a minute, so don't worry about that. Um, let me just tell you right away that we'll be recording this session just for those who were not able to join uh, us today, uh, and so and we'll be posting it on our platform uh, later on. So um, my name is Cassandra de Framont. I were I am a support manager at Ertico, uh, which is a public-private partnership organization working on ITS-related um, topics. And uh, we are part of the Solutions Plus Consortium um, and working on dissemination activities and uh, trainings and uh, startup activities. So all of that. Um, so today we'll be presenting the Mobility as a Service and ITS eCourse. If I can change my slide here. Uh, so this is the agenda we'll be uh, going through today. So in a minute, you'll have uh, my colleague uh, Oliver uh, La from U UME uh, presenting Solutions Plus and the project uh, generally. And then uh, Claudia Ribeiro will be presenting um, the global uh, e-learning program more specifically. Um, after that, we'll be going into uh, the e-course and what it's about, like what it entails. And then every each uh, unit leader will be presenting, um, yeah, the content of, uh, of the different units. And uh, afterwards, we'll uh, have a presentation uh, from uh, Katie Hugla from Repre Consultant. Um, telling you a little bit more about the Mobility Academy platform, which is the platform that we'll be using to uh, host these e-courses and uh, telling you how to use it, uh, how to sign up for the course and so on, if you haven't already done so. And then we'll have a little bit of a time, time for uh, Q&A if anything, um, if there's anything else you wanna know about the e-course or uh, the project generally. So yeah. Uh, let me start off with a few questions just to know um, a little bit about who is joining us today. Uh, the first will be using Slido. So here you can scan the QR code um, to, to answer which continent you are joining us from. And yeah, don't forget to submit your answer once, uh, once you've clicked it so that we can see it here. All right. Europe so far. Okay, seems uh, that it's mainly Europe um, with a little bit from, uh, with some people from Africa and other from Asia. Um, okay, and then we have a next question on your background or profession. Okay, so mainly non-governmental organizations, uh, followed by research and consultancy. Oops, yeah. And the uh, next question is on your experience with transport. So do you work on the topic? Uh, are you here because you're generally just interested in the topic? 
Um, is it something you want to get into further? Okay, so I guess most people are working uh, in uh, transport directly. Okay, well, good to know. Now I'll leave the floor to uh, my colleague Oliver, who will be uh, presenting um, the Solutions Plus uh, project. Perfect, thank you so much. So then I'll be sharing my screen. There we go. Good. Lovely to see you all. Uh, and thanks for joining uh, the kickoff webinar. Uh, this will be a very exciting um, uh, e-course for sure. Um, uh, it's part, oops, sorry. It's indeed part of the uh, Global Solutions Plus project, which is an EU funded program uh, that has started in January 2022. It brings together a uh, rather fantastic uh, family of 48 uh, consortium members and uh, uh, even bigger, uh, wider community of startups and cities, industry, uh, international organization, research, innovation. Um, all of which we're trying to uh, bring together innovative e-mobility solutions that can make an active contribution to uh, sustainable development, to climate change mitigation, but also to job creation, um, participation, and local opportunities that we want to create. So our focus here is quite a bit on, on integrated e-mobility solutions. So we do focus on the vehicle, but also on all the bits that Um, several learnings um, and key uh, elements that are um, a core uh, in our project. And uh, our focus in this project is uh, on what we call the change makers. So those movers and shakers in the local authorities and the national governments, startups, industry, uh, public transport providers, logistics providers and researchers and lecturers, and financing institutions. Um, all of which uh, working on innovative uh, mobility solutions. And one key element that we would like to do here with this rather vast network is to connect um, uh, various projects from uh, the world of research innovation, as well as from development cooperation and bringing those together to, to maximize synergies and, and boost impact. And um, we do that with a fairly structured approach that goes across uh, five steps in our co-development process with the change makers, where we start with uh, informing, where we focus on uh, knowledge product, uh, three core pillars, one of which is the vehicles, uh, the operations of those vehicles. Uh, and here, of course, mobility as a service uh, comes in uh, quite strongly, of course and then the integration with regard to a policy as well as business models of those. So quite a systemic approach that, that we're uh, taking here. Um, and uh, those knowledge products you will find in our uh, e-mobility toolbox. So this is the joint uh, toolbox that both of our sister projects, as Solutions Plus, and the program that is uh, supported by the Global Environment Facility and run by, by UN Environment and IEA is uh, co-hosting. So uh, here gradually uh, we'll bring in all the knowledge products that we are developing across those, oops, sorry, uh, across those uh, projects. And we use those knowledge projects uh, to uh, products to inspire uh, change uh, with our change makers to come up with innovative solutions and um, uh, get an idea on how, how to test them and uh, what the operating environment of that would be. 
and then build this into uh, our capacity building and peer-to-peer -peer exchange. And here, indeed, I mean, you will see in the e-learning e course as well, it's not just one directional. We would also like to pick your brains. We would like to get your um, experiences, ideas, your backgrounds to also bring this back into the program. So um, we're very keen to hear from you and learn from you as well as sharing learnings with you. And uh, uh, then uh, in our program, we are having a, quite a big focus on the dem demonstration concepts that we are developing. So uh, while we start with uh, the different solutions and put them together, we are then focusing quite a bit on how to make it happen. And uh, this is where the startup incubator plays a very big uh, role. We are working with startups all around the world on testing different uh, solutions and they are supporting them, but also learning from that support to allow uh, the replication of those business models because they are making a strong contribution to the actual demonstration phase where we do co-design the prototypes as well as the demonstrations then of it. So we focus on the technology solutions, which, which can be a, a vehicle, but also mobility as a service application, which uh, is featured in, in many of our demonstration cases. And then the, the integration of those, uh, then testing those uh, solutions, see what works and what doesn't, re-evaluate. Um, uh, and uh, come up with uh, with a broader concept that is uh, more transformative. This then covers all the solutions that we have at hand um, across the three pillars uh, that we work on. And the beauty of our demonstration actions across the globe is that we are working in very different operating environments on very different solutions. So that gives us a, a good understanding of what works and what doesn't um, uh, across the world so that we come with a big basket of replicable solutions that can make a strong contribution towards the transformation of our transport sector across the globe. Because this is what we want to achieve. We do want to see impact. Um, this is, of course, where we also do a little bit of homework and where we do uh, uh, crunch uh, some data and uh, uh, translate that into scalable um, uh, uh, projects that have really have a transformative potential. So that's sort of what we end up with of all the learnings uh, of this uh, wonderful big project. We would like to have uh, transformative concepts that can make an active contribution in our partner cities, in the replication cities. I should also say that there is currently a replication call out on the website and you're very welcome to also join us as one of uh, one of the replicators of, uh, of the innovations that we're testing so that um, you become part of, um, of this uh, e-mobility platform that uh, we are co-hosting between the two projects and that will uh, continue to grow uh, also with the growth of in particular the partner program, uh, the global environment facilities and um, uh, its programs that is uh, growing as well. So very quick overview of uh, some of our activities. So um, uh, uh, please do uh, join us for this e-learning course. So that's sort of the advertisement webinar for, for it. But of course, there's plenty of other things um, to explore as well. Um, and uh, indeed should mention again the, the replication call uh, if you want to uh, replicate some of the solutions that we're working on, uh, feel free to reach out. Back to you, Cassandre. Great, thank you so much, Oliver. Okay, and now I'll let um, Claudia present. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Claudia Ribeiro, and I'm a project manager at Polis. So we are the European network of cities and regions working on sustainable urban mobility. And in the Solutions Plus project, we are in charge uh, of the um, activities of capacity building, obviously, with several of our uh, partners. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. 
Uh, Oliver briefly mentioned this, but uh, our idea is to have different formats of capacity building. On the left-hand side, you see the moderated e-learning courses. So this is the global e-learning program that we are presenting here today, uh, the third uh, course of this global learning program, which are pretty much based on video lectures, but we try to incorporate an element of exchange this through um, posting of assignments in the learning platform environment, as you will see later on, and also to complement the video lectures that are uh, available with live exchange uh, sessions uh, or webinars. Here you will have probably the opportunity of interacting directly with some of the trainers providing the lectures. In addition to this, we have a series of other formats, namely the peer-to-peer -peer exchange uh, and global and regional trainings. Unfortunately, unlike the global e-learning program, these are not open to everyone. These are catered to the Solutions Plus demonstration uh, cities. Um, however, uh, later on I will mention it, there will be a way of you accessing the materials. Next slide, please. So the idea of this global e-learning program is really for it to be a first of its, first of its kind and to um, leverage on the wide range of capabilities that the partners involved in Solutions Plus have, uh, not only in terms of knowledge, but also in terms of uh, re uh, regional and geographic uh, coverage. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, the, this program, unlike the other formats of capacity building, is free of charge and free for everyone to join. Um, it can be self-paced, so this means that uh, for uh, some time now, the global e-learning program, the, the third e-course, will be moderated by the team of the project, which means that you can also achieve certification if you complete all the assignments and uh, uh, watch all the lectures. However, it will be available afterwards without this moderation component if people still want to uh, benefit and um, watch the lectures. Next slide, please. So as mentioned before, the third e-course will focus on the connection between e mobility, uh, mobility as a service, and uh, ITS. However, we have already launched and concluded the moderated part, at least of the first and second e-courses. The first one was a more general introductory one launched in 2021. And then last year, we launched the second one on the electrification of buses. We are also planning on organizing a fourth course on the electrification of paratransit, most likely to be rolled out in May 2023 by our partners at Kodatu and also another one on e-mobility and city logistics. This one, the timing is yet to be more defined. Next slide, please. And yeah, I won't uh, go into this uh, because Oliver already mentioned, but the, the toolbox that has been created within the scope of the project is, is great for you to access all types of resources and materials to roll out your, your, your work. Um, and here you can also access all the materials developed for the regional trainings. As I mentioned before, these are not open to you, but you can still access uh, everything that has been produced there. And that's it for my side. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Claudia. So yes, now that you have a little bit of an overview on the Solutions Plus project and um, the learning uh, global learning platform, um, we're going to get into what is this third e-course exactly, um, which is, as mentioned several times, on mobility as a service and intelligent transport systems. Um, yes, so here um, the idea is really to, to learn more generally about mobility as a service, but specifically how integrating electric vehicles and ITS developments in cities uh, so that they complement each other in a harmonious way and um, eventually decarbonize uh, the trans transport systems. So we've done so um, by separating into four units. The first one, which is led by Ertico, is on what is mass and its benefits and what are the, uh, the transport components of mass. 
The second unit is led by Paulus and is on what are the customer needs for mass. The third unit is also led by Ertico on the architecture and mass markets. And the fourth and final unit is led by Swarco on how can ITS support mass. Um, so, I mean, for those of you who know, like mass is a really broad topic. So this, uh, the idea of this training was to really give an insight on all the different topics that it touches upon. And, um, but we do encourage you to, uh, depending on the topics that have been mentioned and that interest you to really uh, look into it uh, further because, not there are never going to be enough training courses um, about all the topics that it touches upon and um here we target really like all um stakeholders that are in the transport and mobility uh industry and uh, are interested in developing uh mass in their region um i'd also like to mention that uh these courses are recorded uh in english and uh most of the content is in English, but actually thanks to our collaboration with Access, um, some Spanish and Portuguese subtitles have been uh, added to the recording. So you can follow along uh, in those languages and the PowerPoint presentations have also been translated in those languages. So we really try to um, be able to have as wide of the audience to be able to follow along these courses. Um, so for, uh, the, the courses will be, um, will be shared. I mean, the different units will be shared, uh, across, uh, several weeks. So between, um, tomorrow and, uh, mid February, uh, there will be, uh, several recordings been, uh, that are going to be available on the Mobility Academy, uh, more information about that, uh, in just a moment. Um, and so throughout this time, you can access the different uh, units and uh, uh, recordings. And as Claudia has men mentioned, there will also be uh, assignments for every unit uh, at the end of every unit. So uh, once you've completed and watch all the recordings, you can uh, submit your assignment on uh, the discussion forum. And the idea here is really to exchange and engage with other uh, users of the platform and other people who are following along the course. And um, yeah, it will also allow you to, um, to have a certificate um, uh, certifying that you followed uh, this course and um, completed it. Uh, in mid-February, once all the um, units have been published, we will also organize um, an exchange session and here you will have the opportunity to uh, discuss and um, ask uh, questions to uh, different uh, contributors of the um, of the of the units, and to be able to ask if you uh, if, uh, about further details or anything that is unclear or anything um, any further information that you would like to have, um, you'll be able to do so uh, through this exchange session. Um, yes, and uh, here are the um, partners that uh, have contributed to uh, this e-course. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of uh, partners who are, um, who are, um, public authorities, service providers, and so on. So there's a, that we really wanted to have um, insights from different points of view and also a little bit of an international insight. Um, so yes, I think I've mentioned everything on the, um, this a little bit of an introduction on the e-course and now we'll be going into um, what every unit entails and uh, what you can expect from them. So unit one will be presented by John. John, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, so the first unit effectively is to give you a introduction to mobility to service sort of the, the, the main overview of it. Um, myself and John will be moderating. So I don't think myself to add here, because you've seen us already. Can you, next slide, please. 
Um, yeah, so uh, as, as Sean said, what we aim to do with particularly with this unit was introduce quite a lot of different things. So give you a sort of a broad understanding of emergency service, sort of different concepts. Um, the first one is, is I mean, much of 1.1 1 .1 is very much an introductory piece. So it talks about what the concept of emergency service is, um, what's the benefits for business customers, um, from the different approaches to implementing it. And also that the, there's the concept of the, the March maturity model, which allows you to sort of see where you're at. Um, module two is around installation. So a lot of mobilities and services around providing data to apps and other services. So it's actually looking at how do you make that data digitally available first? Um, what can it be used for? Um, some lessons learned from other projects and some considerations. And then module 1.3, we've got, um, we've got uh, representation from a couple of public authorities that have been working on mobility as a service. Um, and they're going to talk through how what they've done, so you get to feel for their experience and also particularly how that influences and links to self mobility. Next slide, Cassandra. Andrea. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So I'm Andrea Lopes Acevedo. I'm a project manager here at Polis. And together with my colleague, Pedro Gomez, we're gonna be moderating unit two, that it's uh, what are the customer needs for mass. So next slide, please. So the, the main goals of this unit um, is just to give an overview about the user um, and customer needs and how they should permeate uh, mass uh, so we can ensure accessibility, affordability, and great service so everyone can benefit from uh, the electrification of transport. Um, we will also offer some perspectives on planning and ticketing that goes beyond mass, but that will ensure uh, quality public transport systems and to be more reliable as well. And we want to highlight the influence of the context context and specific local needs uh, in approaches and solutions for mass services. And we're gonna have two modules. And the first one is gonna focus on customer needs and inclusivity. So we'll have um, an insight about how to address these and how to pay attention to some things in digital services. Um, and then to unlock the benefit to as many user as possible, uh, also from other European projects' perspectives. Um, and, and module two is going to be on ticketing. We're going to have an overview from UITP, and we're going to have the use case of Quito as well, uh, with considerations on affordability, different payment options, and how the context uh, of the end users can affect um, ticketing and what should uh, be taken into consideration. And that's it for unit two. Okay, so then unit three is back to us at Ertica. So again, myself and Kazan will moderate it. Um, with unit three, we're sort of going to sort of the next level of detail, really looking at what what's the different ways of implementing sort of mobility as a service. Appreciate for different people on the call, you you may not be quite ready for this, but the aim really is to give you sort of uh, some of the core, some of the core concepts and you can start thinking about this. I think some of these things are easier if you think about them ahead of where you may need to be. Um, one of the big uh, debates within mobility as a service is the role of the private public sector. So you know, much of frequent one starts with that uh, and discusses how different organizations and different uh, there's different approaches then in module 3.2 um, we as Ertico work quite closely with the Mars Alliance and the Mars Alliance created a playbook specific is a an approach to saying out how you could deliver a business service so we're going to talk through that and then in module, module 3.3 3, building policies of the digitization in unit one we're going to talk about standards so we've got a couple of experts on standards to talk through sort of the, the different data standards uh how you can sort of effectively use these to then share data and to encourage the uptake by others hmm. 
Great, Ali. Yes, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Hari Naglu Subravati from Swarco Group, and together, together with my colleague Meng, we'll be moderating Unit Four of this eCourse. Uh, next slide. Yeah. So this eCourse is, uh, and this unit is mainly focusing on enabling participants to understand what are the new forms of mobility issues towards sustainable solutions for the transport of people and goods, advancements in traffic management measures, policies, and basically how all these various heterogeneous components combine and contribute to the mass value chain. Similar to other units, this has three modules. The first, In the first module, we explore how transport policy decisions can support and increase the uptake of mass. We provide a few well-known policy measure examples and uh, show how their implementation in various cities has affected uh, the tra tra traffic performance there. In module two, then we're moving on to module two, we explore how traffic management measures can support mass. We look at traditional traffic management measures and then the need for them to evolve to the mass value chain and also provide some results from implementation of these traffic management measures in the real world and assess their impact on traffic operations. And in the final module of this unit, we look at mass uh, in the context of livable cities. So we discuss important and trending topics in the mobility sector, such as active mode travel, shared micro mobility, digitalization, and how this all these aspects integrate into the mass ecosystem. Uh, thank you. Okay, and uh, now we're going to move on to uh, mobility uh, to the Mobility Academy platform and a little bit of some explanations on how it works and so on. Uh, first off, I would like to ask if Anna, who already has registered to um, the third e course on the platform. Let's see if you've done it uh, during this time. Okay, so most of you have, but there are still a few people um, that haven't registered yet, so I encourage you to do so. And if you don't know how to do so, um, you can listen to uh, Caddy, he will uh, help you get through it. Thank you, Cassandra. Uh, I already post the link for the for the ones who uh, didn't register yet to the course, you can follow the link and register yourself. I will also give you some information. Uh, I thought it was muted. Yeah, I think you can hear me. <laughs> uh, now I will give you uh, some information on uh, the technicalities uh, for, uh, for you to follow the course on the Mobility Academy platform. Next, please. Um, well, uh, some information about the Mobility Academy. Uh, next, please. Um, the platform that we are using uh, to host this course uh, is uh, it's a Moodle-based uh, learning platform where we have uh, more than 40 online courses from several projects. Uh, many of those are covering uh, different topics related to mobility, for example, uh, electric mobility, public transport, uh, sustainable urban mobility planning, uh, city logistics, among many others. And these courses, uh, in most cases, were part of uh, recent projects we have worked on, uh, both European and international projects. Um, so in that sense, the courses are uh, highly applicable to the real world no? and, uh, and to practice because uh, they are part of these uh, projects that we are working on. Next, please. Uh, this is a screenshot of the uh, course, how it's uh, looking right now and the information, the basic information you can find uh, there already uh, on the basic content and the workload and some 
information that would be important for you to know. From tomorrow onwards, we will be launching unit by unit according to the schedule. That's what that was shown uh, previously. Next, please. Um, as part of the course, we plan to, um, to launch uh, different activities in, in several formats. One of them is the lectures. Those will be mainly videos that are uh, approximately 15 minutes. It's ranging from 10 to 20, you know, around it, uh, the videos and uh, where we present the basic concepts on the specific topics that were presented to you already. Uh, we will also make available the slides uh, on, on the three different languages that was uh, explained already also. So you can find all this information on the platform. Uh, and we will be launching uh, unit by unit uh, in the, in the starting from tomorrow uh, along the next weeks. We will also host exchange sessions and this will be live sessions similar to, for example, this session that we are having right now. Uh, so live sessions where you can hear directly from the experts on the specific topics and maybe we can show some examples to you and we, we can discuss also, no? Uh, you can also ask to the experts directly your questions and get feedback. So uh, make sure also to be part of these exchange sessions. We will also have forum discussions that will be moderated by, by all the experts that were uh, explaining to you also the content of the units. And you can ask all your uh, questions you know, that you have, maybe based on the basis of your experience in your local context, maybe a specific thoughts you have on the topic, feel free to use the discussion forum as much as you want, and also uh, to exchange with other participants. As part of the course, also we will, we will be giving you some assignments and tasks. And this is mainly for you to reflect on the, on the topics that we are addressing in the course so that you can reflect on them, maybe apply to your context, maybe come up with some ideas, uh, maybe experiences in your local context that you can also share with other participants. And in that way, you can also learn how things are being done in other parts of the world. Um, some additional materials also uh, will be provided, like, for example, some uh, tools uh, or maybe reading materials, maybe papers, among others. Next, please. Uh, going a bit on the detail on the exchange sessions, uh, these sessions uh, could include, for example, panel discussions, interviews with experts, maybe presentations, specific presentations of examples or tools maybe that were developed for a specific project. Uh, within this course, we will host one exchange session by the end of the course and all the recorded videos also will be available in the platform. Of course, during the time the, the, the course is running, but also after it, it uh, finished. Next, please. Uh, the, this course is planned to, um, to you need to, you, you would have a workload of two, two to three hours per week. So it's really not a high workload. We want to make it easy for you to take the course, maybe in the times that you can. Uh, you can do it during the week or on the weekend. So, you know, it's uh, flexible in that sense. Maybe you just need to make sure to finish on time before the course ends. That's the important part also for you to receive the certificate. And the different tasks would be, uh, for example, surveys, quizzes, for example, answering, answering to specific questions on the forum, reflecting on your local context, uh, perhaps writing also short arguments on specific topics relating to mass, ITS, etc. So uh, this will be explained also in the platform. And uh, the fulfillment of the tasks and assignments are mandatory to receive a certificate. So if you want to receive a certificate, we uh, highly suggest you to follow um, the course very closely, watch the recordings and uh, complete the tasks. Next, please. Uh, as was explained before, this course um, 
will be available in three different languages. The previous courses were only in English, but in this case, uh, it's, it's much more accessible in that sense. So English, Spanish, and Portuguese. The Mobility Academy platform can also be changed in different languages. So you can, for example, change the full platform. Uh, just uh, as you can see in the picture, I hope you can see in the top bar, the, the language is explained and you can then open the bar to see all the different languages in which you want, for example, the platform to appear. And uh, also the videos, for example, are the, the videos are in English, but we have added the subtitles in Spanish and Portuguese. Uh, uh, next, please. You can change this not in the Mobility Academy, but you can change it on the YouTube. So once you, for example, you enter the platform on the Mobility Academy and you want, want to open a video, if you uh, click on the lower bottom, where is the red square, there is a YouTube sign. No, uh, and if you click on it or if you open in another tab, then you are directed to YouTube and you can change well, another click, please. And you can check, you can, you will be, you will access the video on YouTube and you can change uh, on the settings. Uh, you can activate the subtitles and you can see that it's available in Spanish and Portuguese. No, so depending on the language uh, you feel more comfortable, uh, you can change also the the audio and, uh, and add the subtitles. And also the slides are available in all three languages. So on the Mobility Academy, you will find the slides in the three different languages and you can download you know, the language that is better for you. Uh, next, please. Um, once you complete all the tasks and you watch all the videos, uh, you will be you 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 are able to receive a certificate of the course. Um, so um, also to highlight that, as as we said, the learning materials will still be accessible after the course the course is is has ended. So don't worry, no, it's not going to disappear or we are not going to close it. Uh, but of course, you know, if we if you uh, attend the course during the running times, you can get a certificate. Next, please. And on the registration process, um, if you don't have an account yet, you would need to create an account on Mobility Academy. Uh, for the, some, uh, some of you who have taken already some uh, the previous courses, the, the previous uh, courses of the project of Solutions Plus, you have already an account. You only need to self-enroll yourself. Another click, please. Um, so what you need to do is, uh, for the ones who doesn't have an account, create an account, as you can see then on the on the picture. Next, please. For that, you would need to provide some basic information, for example, your age, your country, and and uh, yeah, next, it's okay. And then accept the terms and conditions. Uh, another click. Uh, then, uh, when you fill in all this information, you will uh, receive an email. Uh, yeah, exactly. You will receive an email and then you can confirm your account. So those are the basic steps for you to create an account. And then you can self-enroll yourself on the course. As you can see in the picture, you will find the course there. The re registration link also was sent on the chat. And uh, next, please. And you can self-enroll clicking on the button that you can see in the picture. Next, please. Uh, you can also access to all the content in the mobile app or mobility of the of, yeah of the mobility academy platform. So you can download the app and access with your uh, login details. Next, please, um, and you can access also offline this content. No, so if you want, you can try it. You can access via your laptop or in the app. And uh, well, we are happy to have you here in the course. And of course, if you know of other people who are interested in this topic and would like to take the course, feel free to share also the link with them. And they are they can join still you know, today or even tomorrow. We will start launching the first unit tomorrow. So um, yeah, we are welcome uh, to also invite others. Next, please. Um, 
So if you have any question or any doubt or any issue with the platform, any technical question, feel free to ask. Uh, there is a section in the platform that is called um, technical support. You can post your questions there and we will be getting back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Great, thank you so much, Katie. Uh, yeah, so that is it for the presentations uh, for this uh, e-course uh, three. Um, so you have a little bit of an overview on the project, uh, the solutions project itself, uh, the e-course, the different units and how to use the Mobility Academy platform. Um, now, if there are still some questions or anything else you would like to ask, uh, we welcome you to, uh, yeah, to post your questions in the chat. And uh, yeah, we can take some uh, 10 minutes or so to do so, to answer them. Yes, um, um, Joseph yes. Michael's got his hand up. I don't know if he can talk or not, or if he just wants to put the, or he can put the um, question in the chat. Um, yes, I don't know if uh, attendees are allowed to talk or, yeah, maybe it's easier if you post it in the chat. Um, let's see. You can allow them to talk, I think. There is still small time. Uh, you should be able to now. Okay. So, anyone has a question, just go for it. I saw that Melina Zaruka uh, asked, what is the deadline? So, there's no uh, specific deadline. As we said, the e-course is live now. So, I mean, from tomorrow on. And uh, you'll be able to follow along a little bit more in a lively manner, as in like we'll be interacting on the platform and so on over the next few weeks. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, registering now, but afterwards the the videos, the recordings will still be available on the on the platform. So you'll be able to access them uh, later on too. Um, there is a question on the notification emails when the units are available. Uh, if, you, if you let me, I can answer that. Um, so uh, every time that we launch a unit, we will post uh, news in the announcement uh, section. So um, by default, uh, once when we post uh, our news on the announcement, all the participants get a notification in their email. So make sure you have that uh, that uh, that uh, set, no, that you get this, these notifications, so that you you can you, you know you know when the units are launched. So that would be the maybe the the advice, uh, so that everyone who wants to get the notification can can get it. Okay, yeah. And then Anton asks, when will the next session be? So the next uh, live session, so the exchange session will be at the end of um, once all the units are available on the, e uh, the Mobility Academy platform. Uh, and that will be around mid-February. Um, we'll keep you updated uh, through the platform. We'll post an announcement too for you to register to the exchange session and be able to participate in it. So yeah, more information to come. Um, so someone asked, will the courses be live or video recorded? So these are all video recorded. Um, yeah, but like we said, there will be interactions through the platform. Um, the, the timetable of the sessions or when the units will be available will be um, yeah, we'll post it on, we'll be posting the PowerPoint, the slides uh, on the Mobility Academy platform. So you'll be able to see it 
and the the webinar itself will also be posted so in case uh you want to review anything anything um you forgot how to do you can just look through it again um there is also a couple of questions asking for all the links and registration information as well as these slides after this session um yeah i think then john can you post it on the chat like the i mean katie has uh posted the link to to the platform right so to the mobility academy platform and how and where to enroll so um please check there there's also a question on the q a it's saying a moodle app needs a link to join The Moodle app needs a link to join. Is that what you said? Yes, oh. but I don't know exactly how to answer this question. Uh, Katie, do you know? No, I don't really understand the uh, question. We don't have a Moodle, right? It's a, it's a, a mobility academy. Yeah, I mean, that's a Moodle-based platform. So it's Moodle, no? Uh, but I don't didn't really get to or really understood. Can you repeat it again? Uh, it's just the Moodle app needs a link to join. So please, Marie Nelson, if you can rephrase the question to, to, to be a little bit more clear, that would be very helpful. Mm. Well, I don't see any uh, new questions, so. No, me neither. Yeah. So if there's nothing else, then um, yeah. I mean, any last questions you would like to ask? Anything? The links, once again, are in the chat, so you can end. All this information that we've gone through will um, be available on the Mobility Academy. So you can find, once again, the webinar, the, the slides, um, the schedule, all of that. And um, our contact information is also there. So if there's anything that you, you wanna ask us directly, you can uh, contact, contact us through the platform. All right, well, I think, uh, yeah, I think this, we can conclude the, the this webinar session then. Uh, thank you all for joining and uh, for participating. Um, yeah, I hope uh, many of you, uh, like, I mean, all of you will sign up uh, for this e-course and enjoy it. And um, yeah, I wish you a nice rest of the day. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you, everyone. Board. Thank you.